Jeff, the Stamps fan, says, sounds like Sinopoli will have a similar role as John Cornish has with the Stamps. Well, that's not a full-time job then because Cornish is in the banking industry or finances, right? We had him on this show. That's right. Interesting that he and I made up. But he's a good guy. That's right. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I, I will never forget. Grey Cup 2013. Uh, here in the sweatpants capital. And I don't understand people. Maybe you will understand this. Ryderville had like 10,000 people in it. The party hosted by the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. But then there was Tiger Town and Lion's Den and Stamps House. And there's like three people in each one of them. People are lining up for two hours to get into Ryderville. It's got 10,000 people in it. But you go to an empty one. Oh, no, we got to be where the action is. At that time in my life, I just wanted to go where the beer was cold. I'd, I'd rather not be seen. I'm just saying. Oh. One of, do you know what I'm saying? Well, I was well, what? No, I was going to say you, you would understand the party scene, though. You don't want to go to the empty club. You can have a good time in Grenfell. I don't need the party. I was the party. Good point. The party is wherever I was. How about that? Good point. Uh, How about any, that? Anyways, obviously I'm friends with all, everybody around here. So one of the security people, you give them a badge right in there. Big, oh, yeah. big shot. And guy was bragging to me one night when I got off the air from my show, my other radio show. He is like, I denied John Cornish getting into Ryderville. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, John Cornish showed up and he tried to get into Ryderville. He tried to cut the line. I wouldn't let him in. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You've got the most outstanding player in the league wants to come into your party and who cares if he wants to cut the line? Let him in. What the hell? <laughs> what? But Kevin's got a taser. <laughs> he thought he was doing something noble. I denied that Jack Wagon Cornish getting into Ryderville. Give him a seg, give him a segue and a taser, and all of a sudden, I gotta write that down. Uh, Tell Nelson that. Am I right on that, or am I wrong? It's what makes the CFL great, the Sinopolis of the world, the Danny McManuses. I remember Grey Cup in two thousand three here again. Danny McManus sitting in the corner with his hat pulled down, like right over his eyebrows, sucking back beers like it was his job, and just visiting with people. If they found out who he was, great. But he wasn't out in the middle, hey, look at me. That's why curling is so successful. You go to the Briar Patch, and, oh, there's Kevin Martin, and there's Guy Hemmings, and there's all these guys around the table, and you're like, I can go and sit with these guys? Like, right. you need to have that access, yeah. Thought he was doing it because Rider Nation protecting the brand. <laughs> I guess. Ah, <laughs> I stuck it to that Cornish jerk from Calgary. Didn't let him in. I'm still mad about that. Eight years later, like what? Did, what are you doing? Uh, Leanne Hajdu says we can blame the CFL for all the frustration, lack of communication with the players, and the union. Leads to frustration. The guys have to plan for a job. CFL didn't keep them in the loop, so some had to make financial decisions. Don't blame them. Andrew writes in and says, I worked at Ryderville in 2013. I worked 3 o'clock till 11 o'clock on the till. I got two taps, one to go eat and one to go home. <laughs> oh, it was, it was humming in there. Oh, yeah. 